No! 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 So obviously I'm pretty late on this, but I just wanted to talk about it anyway because it's kind of typical Void Interactive, right? You think you know that they're gonna stay on their schedule and release everything on time right when they say that they're going to, but then they go back to their old ways and say, hey, here's a delay. Okay, Void, I don't mind that you delay the game, but uh, as long as this doesn't become a pattern and you try not to do it again, I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> Oh my god, Void. Oh my god. You know, I used to be more brutal against Void Interactive anytime that they would do a delay back in the day, but that was because they weren't really showing off a whole lot of what they were actually doing. They were just delaying and not giving us any reason as to why, who, or what. But nowadays, they'll actually put out something and really tell us why, and then they'll give us a couple of updates as to what we're going to get. So I'm just not as mad as I once was because their PR has gotten a whole lot better. So I'm definitely okay with this delay. Just as long as they're keeping us you know in the know then it's all good but if they start delaying it and then delaying it and then delaying it then at that point void is just testing my patience let's hope it doesn't come to that but that's where i'm at right now so i kind of just want to go over the content that we definitely missed while i was gone and we're gonna just start with the delay itself just to see what it says so i'm just gonna read through it here i'll put timestamps for all the other rest of the content so uh let's get into it may update addendum to the radio not community our developers have been working hard on putting together the largest content update yet including new level characters, weapons, and a complete cover system for civilians and suspects to utilize. The extra time allotted to our team to work on this update has allowed us to perform necessary bug hunting, problem solving, and mechanical integration. The only thing that I see wrong with this statement is uh, the bug hunting part because I feel like we could help with that, but okay. At this point, we now have a firm grasp on how much work is left ahead of us to get the update in a playable and test ready state. Unfortunately, we'll need to just have a little bit more time to ensure that we can adequately prepare for the large amount of new content and systems being added to the game. Our biggest content update yet will be available to all Ready or Not players in the first week of June, which at the time of this recording is actually not that far off. I think it's like two weeks away, something like that. But anyways, we know that we've already asked for you to wait for us once, and we know that this delay will come as frustrating news for our community. These extra few days will be crucial in making the update consistently playable and ready to experience with your friends without forcing our dev team into a crunch period that is all too common in the industry. Going forward, we will continue to communicate such development news so that we are maintaining openness with our player base. We thank you for your patience, for your support, and for your passion that pushes us to make the game better every day. We're excited to share everything we've been working on with you, and we'll see you in the first week of June. Yes, yeah, so this update is supposed to be pretty big, like almost game-changing, I'd say. And according to Gwyn, the first week of June is for all players, and supporters are going to have it early, so we're probably going to have it sometime this week, just based on what Gwyn said. It's usually when the supporters get it like about a week before actual release for all people who bought into the game at the $40 price tag. So I know that I'm pretty late on this, but um, I just wanted to cover it because it's just ready or not related, just so I could have like a document that I could look back to, to show that it actually happened. But anyways, before this delay came, there was actually a ready or not briefing update, so I'd like to go through that. It looks like this briefing was brought to us by the very generous Kaminsky, not Guinevere, apparently she's over there answering emails, I guess. But the name of this update is called Level Updates Character Previews. It starts off with saying, Howdy gamers, welcome to the 30th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. In this week's issue, we're going to be taking a look at some of the work in progress shots of Club and Valley, as well as a quite scary suspect you can expect to see in meth in the near future. Club and Valley come to life. With each passing week, our level design team continued to add details and improvements to our existing maps, and we're excited to show off some of our fine work. The potential for environmental storytelling in Ready or Not is something that excites us, and that means adding the little details that stand out, whether it's your first playthrough or your hundred. We got a first picture here, which kind of looks like the very beginning of Club, if I'm being honest. Kind of like when you're walking in through the doors. So immediately, I like how there's actually reflections on the floor right there. I wonder if he's using an RTX. You got like this sort of light that kind of resembles a female, I'm assuming. Live rat. Is that supposed to be like a dead mouse reference? I'm seeing something on the floor that I don't see anywhere else. Is that like on the ceiling or something? Because I don't see... Maybe that's on the floor. I don't know. It's interesting. Obviously, you got some dead civilians on the floor here. Some blood stains on a couple of the chairs. Some on the wall there. It looks like there's actually a staircase over there on the right. I'm trying to read what that says over on the left there. I want to say that it says prism, but I'm not too sure. I see a P-R-Y-Z-M prism. Kind of looks like it, but that's definitely a weird shape that it has up there the pink thing whatever that is 
this is supposed to be? It looks like a mushroom or something. I think I see some shell casings on the floor. There's definitely some blood splatters on the floor that are kind of hard to see. Overall, it looks pretty cool. It kind of does look like the very beginning though, but maybe it's just a branching path. I can't tell. But that's all I can really see from this picture. If you guys can see anything more, let me know down in the comments. But underneath this picture, it's called A Cascade of Violence in the Club. Take control of the aftermath. I believe it's this part, but I could be wrong. That was a cool picture. Let's move on to the next one. The next one here is like a picture of a planning phase? Do my eyes deceive me? Or maybe this is just the valley, right? This picture almost got me excited for a second. I'm like, oh my god, is this a planning phase? I'm like, oh no, it's just a part of the map. I'm not really too sure, but uh, let's see what's inside this bad boy. Let's see. Going from right to left, we got plant sale. A huge variety of indoor and outdoor plants. Come find the next decoration for your garden, home, and office space. I think that's what that says. At the Botanical Garden of Los Sunes. I never know how to say the freaking name. April 3rd to the 30th, 2022, 9 a.m. to 8 to 19 p.m. or 16 p.m. I can't really tell. But yeah, I could barely read that. I'm trying to read the other poster underneath it with the flowers. Los Clemente 2022 Tulip Festival, May 6th and 7th, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Elizabeth Park. Los Clemente. Reading the post-it in the middle here. Water deep low or 10. Deep 10 maybe. Each week and add water salube. Fertilizer every other week. Reading the post-it underneath that. Oxalis. Water every two weeks. Weekly horticultural oil spraying plus wipe leaves. I'm guessing this is like a chart on what to do with the plants. For anybody that's new to the program, they can just look at this board here or something. And they have like everything planned out on this board here. It's a planning phase for plants. A planting phase. <laughs> Genius. Alright, I'm going to attempt to read this big one here let's see we got stairs coming down to this room to the right going up we got fertilizer then going back down to the left barbinus sunbergi underneath that fragonia vesca and i can't really read that sticky note looks like a blur to me this is apparently in the potting area tropalium i think that's how you say that to the right stromanthi i think that post-it note says fertilizer or pasta above that it says alethea officinalis so these are all plants but they're potted okay cool some Somebody really likes their freaking plants because I would never know the name of these. To the right of that is Superia, circled. To the bottom right of that, Oxalis plus Amarion, thus Artipanicia. Not sure that's how you say that. Going up, Rosa Alba, Ragosa, Philippendulus, and last, Spireus. Why do they have two of the same on the board there? That's interesting. Last but not least, check daily that Tropaculius Sola Dead moist water if not and i believe that this is actually a map of this area that's currently in the valley it's definitely not something that's finished just yet but i think this is what it's showing off but i could be wrong then again this is kind of like a good spot for plants right to grow that type of stuff but anyways that's pretty much it for this picture i'm not sure why they thought that this was something worth showing off like i have to wonder if these plants are psychedelics maybe or something i don't know probably narcotics related that's the only reason why i think they would actually show this off or maybe they're just teasing us that they don't have a freaking planning phage just Yet. I don't know. What do you guys think? But it was an interesting read, I guess. If you're someone that's really interested in plants, this might actually be pretty fun for you. Underneath the picture, it says, It's important to keep flowers tended to. I think out of all the pictures, this one is just like, why? Why Why did we, Why was this needed? But it's interesting nonetheless. Let's move on. The next one here is a picture of the valley also, but it's actually showing off the backside here where the pool is. Uh, you could definitely see a house in the background. It's definitely more decorative. I guess this person was turning 18. Happy birthday. What was the name of the girl? Emily or something? I forgot. But it looks like there was definitely like a fun party going on here. Can't wait to see this. There's another picture that's underneath it with the camera facing the other direction. And uh, oh, we have some interesting pictures that are right here. That's uh, it's a little odd to like hang them in such a weird way. Is that like the picture of the person that's like getting a birthday here? That's kind of weird. Does it actually look like different people on the pictures? Wild guess here, but I wonder if these are some of the sex trafficking victims that were in the crates in the Port Hulkin level. Maybe this is like one of the houses that they got distributed to i just think that that's like a really odd way to hang pictures on like a string like that like i can imagine like instead of a picture frame or if somebody does like one of those big posters and just puts a bunch of pictures together side by side but hanging on strings like this that kind of looks odd to me what does that box say right beside it i could barely read it element complete maybe uh, i don't know if that's what that says uh but you got a bunch of presents here a bunch of balloons that you can actually pop and move around if you get too close to them i believe there's like a secret that the devs might be adding in here but who knows at this point 
one thing that I think is really odd about this is that there's this like box that's right here. Like I've seen this in the level before, but I always wondered like what exactly this is. It looks like some sort of like a TV box and there's something that's supposed to be inside of it, but there's nothing there. That's kind of odd, but there's definitely signs that a party was going on here. And I'm kind of curious to know what's actually unfolding during this whole thing. We got a bar in the background too. That's kind of cool. So that's pretty much all I really got to say about this picture. Nothing too crazy. We've actually seen previews of this before somewhat. And uh, yeah, underneath the pictures, it says a truly luxurious party. Time to crash it. It's interesting that they say party when there's like nobody here. Probably the most oddest thing that I find about these pictures is that there's literally like no one here. Like did they all just flee? I guess that would make sense. But anyways, going on to the next thing, we got preview of new meth suspects. In addition to the myriad of improvements and variations to existing character models, our team is putting together an entirely new and unique cast of characters for meth, aka Twisted Nerve. I don't know, I can never get attached to that freaking name, Twisted Nerve. It just sounds so meth to me, you know? Meth house just sounds better, if I'm being honest. But anyways, while we're excited for players to run into all of these variants, there's one character in particular we'll be focusing on today, and they're showing a picture of this right here. Looks like a very hairy man who has some very rugged clothes. I mean, at this point, why would you even wear it? Like, what does that even cover up? And then they got another picture of the model right here. The holes on the thing kind of makes it look like the shirt is just going through his skin, but it's not. It's just cut up. And again, why even wear the freaking shirt if you're just, like, not even, like, it doesn't cover anything? <laughs> I guess it's a meth head, you know? They're just gonna do what they're gonna do, right? Underneath both the pictures, it says, one of the 213 Park Holmes residents. His clothes have seen better days, and so has he. Why is this person important? We don't know. But it continues on to say, between the gentleman above and the rest of the new suspects and civilian models coming to meth, players will encounter a dozen of new faces in their journey to bring order to chaos. So... Are you guys just showing this off for a reason or like is he like the leader of this little group here or something? Or is it just one of those new faces that you just wanted to show off on us? Hmm, curious. Interesting. Well, anyways, in conclusion, as with every ready or not aspect, we're focused on creating an immersive environment that is conducive to tense and fun gameplay. This means interweaving elements of games, story with its characters and the world, and we can't wait for you to experience it. This concludes our 30th bi-weekly briefing, focusing on a few level previews and new character model for meth. Please tune in next time for more development news and keep an eye out on our social media pretty neat so that's pretty much it for the weekly newsletter the one that i missed because i wasn't here so before i end the video there is a couple of things that i can show off here or talk about the first thing that we're going to talk about is one of the mini dev updates that came out not too long ago it's not the biggest thing but grunter ended up releasing a mini dev update so let's take a look at that really quick He explains that this is not the biggest thing, but some car shader trickery to make their vehicles look a lot better. There's more to come to the vehicles over the next few updates, but I'll not say anything yet. Looking back over at the footage here, you can definitely see that you can shoot windows, obviously, because he's definitely shot at them. Uh, you can see multiple different cars. We got uh, some sort of truck here. We got a van. We got what looks kind of like an ambulance over there. This car in the middle kind of looks like one of those 1970s vehicles, but I can't really tell. You got like three different cars in the background behind the truck and also a police car. There's a lot of vehicles in this little clip here. So that's pretty neat. One thing that I would like to see is car alarms, right? I mean, not only should you be able to like shoot at it and then the car alarm goes off, but I feel like car alarms tend to go off when they hear like really loud noises. Like there's some assholes that always shoot off like random fireworks that are stupid loud. And then the next thing you know, I hear just a bunch of car alarms going off. So I mean, that should be a thing too, right? Cause guns are loud too, right? Like they're about the same noise as like a firework. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know. Now we're going to talk a little bit about something Things that the developers have said that one of my subscribers had pointed out. The first one that we're going to talk about here is what Ryro said. He talked about the workshop and SDK. He said that we're not likely to see it until maybe another six months. And I'm going to write that down as probably not true. That to me just feels more like a process. It's going to take a little longer, but it would be nice to actually have the workshop on hand. So that way I don't have to go to like shady websites or a Nexus, I guess. I'm not saying that that's an issue, but it would be nice to just, you know, go to the workshop and then press that subscribe button and then you're done but that's just me hopefully this comes soon but uh let's look at the other one here ali also came out and said that they're planning to move tasers to a tactical slot interesting so i would like to get some clarification on this would that mean that we would also have a pistol and a taser or what does that mean by tactical slot i'm, I'm just a bit curious genuine question that would actually be pretty cool if we could actually get that i would love to see a belt where we had a pistol and a taser like how cops usually have it but what are your guys thoughts that seems to be it for everything that is news related so i'm gonna end the video here if you enjoyed the fact 
fact that I cover games like Raider Not, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or hop on that join button that's underneath the video. Any donation helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not or any other game that I decide to cover. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.